So you got a new Yamaha Avantage AV receiver. It's got an eco button on it, an eco feature. Are you saving the planet by using this feature or are you killing the dynamic range of your system? That's what we're gonna be talking about in today's video. All right, my friends, I am back covering the new Yamata, Yamaha, Yamata, Yamaha Avantage RXA 6A AV receiver. As you can see in the background, it's on my test bench. We're in the trenches. We're really dissecting the performance of this product. And you know, it has an eco feature like many of today's electronics do. Is it a good thing or is it a bad thing? That's what I want to talk to you guys about. Now, look, I am totally pro environment. I want to save the planet. I want to save us. I want to reduce our carbon footprint. But when it makes sense, you want to do that. Not when it's you're talking about saving a couple of watts with potentially destroying the performance of your home theater. The money that you worked for, the money that you spent to get as many watts out of this magic box as you can. I don't want to see you guys hindering that. And I know if I tell you, if I just say don't use the eco mode, Without showing you measurements, there's going to be uh, naysayers down below that are going to say, it sounds better when I put it on eco mode or it's more dynamic. Well, I'm going to show you the facts. Using my audio precision, very precise test gear, I'm going to show you the wattage with eco mode engage and with eco mode disengage. And you guys can make the right decision as to what is best in your situation. So if you go into the setup menus on the Yamaha receiver, You'll see this uh, feature when you go to system and you scroll all the way down, it says eco mode. Now it's normally set to off, which I'm glad that it's set to off. There's only two modes on this. There's an eco mode off and there's an eco mode on. Now in some other receivers like the Marantz and the Denons, they have an eco mode auto. And I really liked the eco mode auto because eco mode auto allowed the receiver to consume less power at lower wattage but then when you crank the volume up, it's it's went from a low voltage rail to a high voltage rail. So you didn't lose any power. You got the efficiency at low power, but you got the maximum power as you raise the volume up without any compression or any kind of wattage loss. That's a great feature on a Yamaha, I'm sorry, on a Marantz or Denon receiver. Unfortunately, Yamaha's eco mode is not that sophisticated. It's either on or off. I'm really disappointed to be honest with you because you would think that they would have done something more advanced like their competitors do. But let me show you some measurements here. So here we have a two channel measurement. And now this is a 150 watt per channel rated receiver. And you could see the graph where it goes all the way almost to 200 watts. That's with eco mode off. That's really good because this receiver is generating a lot more power than its rated spec. I think I got about 170 watts unclipped with two channels driven. That's awesome. But look what happens in eco mode. If you run this receiver with eco on and you're just running two channels, you go from about 170 watts a channel down to 58 watts at 0.1% or 65 watts at 1%. I don't know about you guys, but that is a lot of power to give up just to have it on eco mode. And that's just with two channels driven. You're going from 170 watts to 50 watts. I would not at all use this mode if you're using the amplifiers in this receiver. But I wanna give you some more data. So I ran four channels driven. And as you can see with four channels driven, we're still at about 140 watts without eco mode being engaged, which is incredible to see that much power um, from an AV receiver with four channels driven. Now there's some weird stuff going on with their protection circuit, as you can see, like the swoosh symbols above the 140 watt error. Um, as the distortion gets really high, it just really starts to limit that this is with test signals. This is not a real world scenario with music program material. You're not going to get that kind of compression that I'm seeing here, but look what happens again in eco mode. You're limiting this receiver now to 50 Watts a channel, um, with four channels driven. If you're in eco mode, again, I do not recommend that. Now I want to show you something interesting. Yamaha puts a lot of nannies in their products. I wish they wouldn't. It's kind of like if you buy, like, let's say you buy a, a Lexus car, okay? Lexus has a really nice engine in it. It performs decently well, but it's not a performance car because they put, they rev limit the engine. 
you can't get above maybe 6,300 RPMs on most Lexus cars. So even though that engine has over three, 400 horsepower, it's just not a performance car because they want this thing to last. They don't want you to break it. Unlike, let's say, a Porsche or a BMW where you could redline to 7,000 RPMs, you get more performance. It's just a totally different driving car. Yamaha is kind of doing the same thing here. They're really throttling back the performance of their AV receiver by putting all these nannies. But I get it. They don't want the thing to blow up. And in most cases, you're not going to engage these nannies because you're using program material that's dynamic, not continuous test tones like we're doing on the bench. So I want to show you the seven channel sweep here. Now, here's the interesting thing. With only seven channels driven, we're getting about the same. Oh, I'm on the wrong graph. I'm sorry. With seven channels driven, we're only getting about 42 watts in eco mode. And we're getting a little bit more. We're getting almost 50 watts uh, with eco mode disengaged. So in this case, when you have seven channels driven at the same time, the eco mode is not making a huge difference in power because the limiting circuit is already taking over and limiting the power of this receiver. This receiver does not like to be driven with more than four or five channels driven continuously if you want to see the high power rating. Now, again, this is on a bench. This is not with real program material. I know people are going to be looking at this saying, oh, man, this is a ripoff. You're only getting 50 watts a channel with all channels driven. But you know what? You're getting a shitload of power with a couple of channels driven and a lot of dynamic power as a result. Yes, there are a lot of nannies on this receiver, but we're going to be doing some real world testing on speakers to see if we're going to hit those limiters or if we're going to get the real dynamics that I'm thinking we're going to be getting with this AVR. Now, I know the next question people have, okay, so what if I preamp out this thing and I don't use, and I want to use eco mode because I want to save power. I want to cut the power of the uh, consumption of the AV receiver. So I ran a voltage sweep out of the preamp outputs and eco mode made no difference at all. I still get a clean four volt RMS output out of all channels driven at the same time. This preamp has a lot of drive. Now you'll see the distortion levels are a little bit different on some of the channels. This is something I'm currently investigating with Yamaha Engineering in Japan. I found uh, the center channel and two of the surround channels have higher distortion than the other channels, but it's still, you know, 0.05%. That's still a very low distortion. Not a horrible thing. I just don't like to see uh, a difference in the channels. We're trying to investigate what's going on there. But the bottom line is if you are going to use the Yamaha, any of the Yamaha Avantage receivers as a preamp, and not engage the amplifiers, not use the amplifiers to power your speakers. In that case, you can use eco mode if you want to cut the power usage of your receiver. It'll cut the heat down. It'll cut the power down a little bit. And I'll measure that to see what the real difference is uh, in eco mode versus not. But anyways, guys, I wanted to reiterate to you, do not use the eco mode on this AVR if you're using the speaker amplifiers. If you're going to power your speakers with the internal amplifiers, leave eco mode off. I hope you found this video useful. Uh, please thumb it up. Please subscribe to the channel so you get more notifications and you get more videos like this. Don't forget about our Patreon channel at patreon.com slash audioholics. We appreciate your support on this channel. You get direct access to me if you want to ask questions or suggest video topics. And stay tuned because I'm going to be doing a lot more of these videos on this receiver. I'm going to really dig into its performance and to its features and tell you guys about how YPOW is better or not. We'll be finding that out as well. Well, until next time, my friends, keep listening.